We are anonymous. After 9-11, the United States government preyed on the fear felt by many Americans to justify the passage of the USA Patriot Act, a law that was supposed to prevent future terrorist attacks. Now, after the Las Vegas shooting, the government has another proposed law ready to go, and just as with the Patriot Act, it also infringes on Americans' liberties, and does very little for their security. The USA Liberty Act is the latest trendy name for a law that would reauthorize Section 702 of the Foreign Intelligence Surveillance Act, FASA, which is set to expire on December 31, 2017. According to the House Judiciary Committee, the act would preserve the core purpose of Section 702, the collection of electronic communications by non-US persons for use in our nation's defense. However, it should be noted that while the purpose of FISA was reportedly only to allow surveillance on the communications of foreign targets who were suspected terrorists, it has been used to spy on the communications of innocent Americans, despite the practice being ruled illegal, and any reauthorization of the law will only allow the practice to continue under the guise of preventing terrorism. But what the USA Liberty Act does not advertise is the fact that it does not actually address the legitimate problems that exist with Section 702. The FBI's legitimate national security purpose could be justified by just about any reason the agency chooses to give, and agents will only need supervisory authority in order to search Americans' metadata. One of the most important things to remember about Section 702 is that, as the Constitution Project noted, it gives domestic law enforcement agencies access to the data seized by the NSA, while allowing the NSA to retain and disseminate Americans' communications that may contain any evidence of any crime. In a press release on the new act, the House Judiciary Committee bragged about the bipartisan success of the USA Freedom Act in June 2015, claiming that it ended the bulk collection of data, protected civil liberties and national security, and provided robust oversight and transparency of our vital national security tools. The USA Freedom Act doesn't actually end or suspend the phone records program but simply requires phone companies to hold on to these records rather than the NSA. It also authorized, for the first time, the NSA, FBI, and other government agencies to unconstitutionally collect data in bulk on potentially millions of law-abiding Americans, and it let the NSA collect cell phone records in addition to the landline call records. In the same way that the USA Patriot Act was the opposite of patriotic in 2001, the USA Freedom Act only took away freedom in 2015. Do not be fooled by a title, the USA Liberty Act in 2017 has nothing to do with expanding liberty. Problem, Reaction and Solution Created Events to Justify the Cause That cause is the ever-growing elephant in the room, the police state. With each small act passed without opposition, we inch closer and closer to the threat of a totalitarian police state. National Defense Authorization Act, the Patriot Act and now the USA Liberty Act. How much of your liberty are you going to passively give up in the name of security? Security from a government with 17 intelligence agencies capable of carrying out covert operations to coerce and take advantage of the common sense of the public utilizing their controlled mainstream media organizations to manipulate your thinking on the various tragedies and events that they have sectically carried out to push forward their agenda. Whom are all controlled and corrupted to international bankers that control the nation's money supply through the private Federal Reserve Bank that is, of course, exempt from the very laws they dictate to you. It's easy to corrupt a politician or any official when you're the one that controls the supposed bank that creates and issues the entire nation's currency. It's well enough, don't you think? Where is the spirit of the American founders? 
ones that knew of the dangers of these central bankers, ones that knew that every once in a while the tree of liberty must be fed with the blood of patriots in order to maintain freedom and liberty from all forms of tyranny, even if that tyranny comes from within. Not to overthrow the constitution but to overthrow a government that no longer respects or adheres to it. America sold out to bankers in 1913. Its state today was never intended by the founding fathers. They were aware of these dangers. They fought them off twice before. Let us be clear, at this juncture blood is not necessary, but your voice is, your love for all humanity is, your patriotism for your country is, your steadfast resolve and demand for justice is, together in unity we can change the course of history and for humanity's sake, let us hope those whom hear these words, will be sensitive to their guidance and help all of humanity reclaim what it has forgotten. To America's armed forces, tell us in verbatim below in the comments, what was the oath you took? The people need you, we are the people, stand with us, stand with your countrymen, stand with and for humanity, we are running short on time. Much love. We are anonymous. We are legion. We are the revolution. We are the truth in the dark. Expect us. Thank you.